Okay, I wanted to do like a get ready with me slash like Q&A since I don't have a whole lot of videos and you guys don't know like a whole lot about me. So on my Instagram, I asked you guys to like send me questions, anything you wanted to know about me. That way I could like answer them and there'd be like more of a personal connection here rather than me just being a stranger on the internet whose pictures you like. Let's jump into the questions. Okay, so the first question I got was what kind of face paint do I use? And a lot of the paints I use are the um, NYX SFX cream paints just because I like the consistency of them. And I also like that you can set them with like a translucent powder. Um, I also really enjoy the Ben Nye water activated paints just because they do like set a lot easier. And since they are water activated, they like do dry and they don't leave like a heavy feeling on the skin. Biggest pet peeve. Um, I think my biggest pet peeve would just be like unnecessary, like unnecessary rude people just because like there's no fucking point to be rude to people for no reason because it really doesn't get you anywhere. Like if you're just like, I don't know, a halfway decent human to most people, like I feel like life will be so much easier for you. But that's just my opinion and like my thoughts. Like don't be a dick. <laughs> what happened to the cat I had? Well, last year I adopted a kitten. His name was Pickle. Um, I, after, it was after my chihuahua passed away and I wanted to get my older dog, who was a senior dog, a friend and I had the cat for about three to four months and then I feel like I started to develop an allergy because like every time he would like get near me I like it was non-stop sneezing in my house so I gave him to like one of my best friends who's like a crazy cat lady like nutcase um, so I do see him he's now like my godson um, I love him from a distance I was getting so like miserably sick having that cat in the house that I just like couldn't do it anymore and I like loved him like he was an asshole but like I loved him but like now he lives a very pampered 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 lifestyle with his new mommy Brie and he's thriving and I'm healthy <laughs> do you enjoy doing creative makeup rather than natural um I enjoy both it's just like my creative is just like more of a hobby and I just like to sit in my little like makeup room sometimes and work on looks just because it is like a little escape therapeutic for me I guess even though that sounds stupid um but it's just nice to like sit in here sometimes try to do what other artists do and recreate looks and try to come up with like your own concepts and like stuff like that and like it's just nice to like obviously like practice your skills like if you're trying to like get into this kind of stuff or like do any sort of body painting or anything like that but, but I do enjoy like both aspects of it like I truly do enjoy like full glam makeup like I love sitting here and like getting ready in the mornings and like seeing what I can do with just like my everyday makeup but I also do love like being like crazy with it and turning myself into all this weird stuff it's just like I feel like I'm a little kid and I can just like become whatever I want what is your advice for gaining followers I don't know because I've struggled for like a really long time and like I wanted to give up because I felt like my page wasn't growing and I like I was doing it all for nothing and then it's just like you gotta kind of like I fell off of it for a while and there was like a year where I really didn't create anything just because like I wasn't passionate about it and I felt like I was doing it for no reason I kind of just had to t tell myself to like get over it quit being a baby um and just keep working on it because like it did make me happy and like it's not always about numbers and how many followers you have or how many likes and stuff you get on it it's just like it's your art and you're doing it to like express yourself because it you truly enjoy it and it makes you happy. If you're trying to grow the thing I did, tag brands in your posts. Like try to be more active online. Like, you know, tag feature pages. Like, I don't know, comment on other big pages and like be supportive of other artists. And like, if you're just nice to people online, it usually like people appreciate that and they'll, they'll follow you. And then like, I don't know, be yourself because people don't want to see some like fake shit. Like, even though like that's 90% of the internet it's just like all this unrealistic bullshit but if you're just yourself like people are gonna appreciate that so much more than you having like a cover on or like pretending to be something you're not and like I've always been so open and honest about everything even when I'm like if it's gonna get a negative reaction I'm still gonna like say it or like speak my mind because like I'm not gonna pretend to be something I'm not just so that people will maybe like me more or I don't know follow me because they think I'm some unrealistic like goal or I don't know all I can just say is like showcase your art 
tag brands. Hopefully get reposted. Be yourself. Be nice. Like, be interactive with your followers. Like, that's how I grew. When did you first get into makeup? I've always really been into makeup, even as, like, even at a young age, I was always, like, playing with it and, like, buying it. I remember when I was, I think, 16, no, yeah, 16, I bought my first, um, naked palette. I actually still have it. I think it's on my shelf. Hold on. Yeah, this was the first palette I ever bought when I was, like, 16. Like, it's all beat up and nasty, but, like, I keep, it's obviously expired, but I keep it because it's like, I don't know, it's like cute to look back on. And like, I remember being 16 and then Ulta opened in the town over from us. The first time I'd ever, like, this was the first time of me ever going into like a legit makeup store besides like the like makeup aisle at Walmart. And so I was there and we were like walking around, like me and a couple of my friends. And I saw this palette and I was like, wow. Like, I really like those colors. Didn't know how much it was, like, didn't know how much it cost. I get to the front and they're like, oh, like, your total is, what, 54 bucks? There's no tax. There's no sales tax in Montana. So I was like, $54? But I didn't want to be, like, a bitch. So I was like, I'm going to buy it to, like, say I got, like, this expensive makeup palette because, like, no one else in my school was into makeup, like, really at all. And so I bought it and I, like, treasured it. Like, I used to go stay with my dad on the weekends and I would like put it in my bag, but like wrap it in like my clothes. That way if like I drop my bag, it wouldn't break or like it wouldn't get ruined because I was so paranoid of dropping this expensive ass eyeshadow palette that I bought as a 16 year old. And I told my dad about it and he was like, why the hell would you spend almost $60 on makeup? And I was like, I don't know, dad. I wanted it and I bought it. Now I have like four of these. Did you go to university slash college? If not, what pathway did you take? So I took like, how many gap years? <laughs> I graduated in 15. I took like two gap years because I was young and in a stupid relationship and I thought like, I'm gonna be with him forever. So I'll put off school to help pay for bills in the house that we bought, sure. And then I realized like, I'm not doing what I want. So I then left, randomly moved to Dallas, was like, I'll go to cosmetology school. Went to cosmetology school, um, got my license, and now I do hair. I'm like professional. I can say I'm a professional makeup artist because I guess I am now, but I do hair. <laughs> have you ever been disheartened during your makeup Instagram journey? Uh, yeah, I have a few times. A few times, just a few. Last year, especially, um, I kind of was like over it was gonna like just walk away from my page, like not really do anything anymore. There was a bigger makeup artist who was like attacking me for no fucking reason other than that she ripped off one of my makeup looks and didn't credit me. And then when I asked her to credit me, she then told her followers, because English was not her first language, that in her own language she was telling her followers like I was racist, um, I was rude, I was demanding, blah, blah, blah. So I was attacked like viciously by her followers because I simply asked for a little bit of inspiration credit on a photo. And then fun fact, it was the same weekend that my chihuahua had passed away. And so people were sitting there on the internet saying, I'm glad your dog died. And at that point I was like, fuck the internet. <laughs> and I really just wanted to call it quits because it was awful, absolutely awful. Was it hard to afford things in the beginning? Yes, it was so hard, especially because like, like I said, I took a gap year couple after high school because I was in um, a relationship then. Instead of going to school, I was like, oh, I'll just like hang out, help pay for bills, whatever. And so I worked two jobs and a lot of I, like my income went towards like paying the mortgage and like paying the bills. So like any makeup I had after my paychecks, I would like put it aside and I would spend like, I don't know what the kind of money I was making back then, like not good. Let's say my paycheck was 600 bucks, 400, 500 would go to bills and that remaining would go all towards makeup. I wouldn't buy anything but makeup. Like that's literally all I bought. I didn't know shit about makeup, but thought like if I just kept buying it that I would know like everything there was to know about makeup. It took a long time practicing to even learn how to do my eyebrows correctly because there was a point in high school where I used like literal liquid black eyeliner, which fuck all y'all for not telling me like, hey Morgan, knock it off. Terrible friends, <laughs> all of you. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I have a giant four-year-old who just happens to like spend the night with me occasionally. Trevor and I have been together for a little over six months. 
We've known each other for like, I wanna say a year and a half. We hung out last year and then I ghosted him because I'm a jerk and because I thought like he's too good for me because he's so cute and he the homeboy was just relentless wouldn't leave me alone would come show up at my job and be like oh hey I was in the area and like I need clothes I'd be like right but no we've been together for a little over six months like I absolutely adore him he makes me so happy he is like a giant man child and sometimes I just want to like knock the hell out of him does your man understand makeup or could care, or could he care less about it? He's actually like very supportive about it and he gives me his inputs um, sometimes too much. Like the other day he told me my contour looked brown and streaky. Didn't appreciate it, but it's now in the bank of comments that are gonna ruin my life. No, he does like surprisingly like do okay with it. Like he watched the entire like Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star palette series and he would get so butthurt if I like watched the video without him or watched the newest episode without him. He'd be like, you're supposed to wait for me. And I'd be like, oh, I didn't think you cared that much. If I'm doing my makeup in the mornings and he like stays with me, he'll like come in and like watch. Or if I'm like working working on a look, he'll be like, he'll come in, he'll be like playing games on the couch. He'll like walk in every once in a while and just be like, Oh, okay, looks great. And we'll like walk out. But he's like very supportive. He even comes in here occasionally and will like throw on a wig and be like, and then like walk out. And I'm like, okay, bye. <laughs> Would you consider giving hair tutorials on your Instagram? Hair tutorials as in me doing people's hair color wise or hair tutorials as in me like curling my hair? I have a whole hair page, like Instagram page for my hair stuff. I don't really post any like videos on there about like my clients and stuff it's more so just like photos and before and afters and like typical hair stuff on my instagram but as for like styling my own personal hair i don't really do a lot other than like curl it like uh, i have tape in extensions in my hair currently but like i also have like I, right now i have the bellamy platinum posse which is like the zach uh, mesquite collab in that are like they're really thick and like i just curl them with like a bellamy wand like nothing crazy and i always put my hair like up because I hate having my bangs in my face but if I put my hair in a ponytail I look like a founding father so it's kind of like best brushes to get a great blend also your blending technique I got this brush on Amazon and I love her um, I also use a lot of the NYX makeup brushes just because I really like the quality of them Morphe obviously has some like really good ones I don't buy a lot of makeup brushes I just use the same like shitty ones and make them work because I don't see the point in constantly buying makeup brushes um if I'm just gonna ruin them all anyway with like grease paint and stuff am I happy yeah I think I would say I'm happier than I was um this time last year was definitely like hard for me especially like getting out of cosmetology school and not knowing what I was doing with my life and feeling like a failure and like I don't know like now I'm way happier like career wise I'm in a salon that I love but like life's really good like I don't know like I feel like it's just kind of like looking up from here hopefully if it gets any worse I don't know how I'm gonna handle it I might have a mental break and just like lose it what initially sparked my SFX makeup interest well one year for Halloween on my sister's forehead I took a bunch of eyelash glue and made it look like she got shot in the head and I was like wow this is cool I don't know if that's like what's triggered me to like be kind of gross sometimes with like special effects makeup I low-key kind of like just like making things look nasty and like gory and gross just because like I don't know there's not really a ton of that I'm glad it's like becoming more like normalized with like makeup artists how many siblings do you have too many i have too many siblings so pay attention for this my mom and dad are not together they both have different partners now um, my mom and stepdad have been together since i was in third grade i have a stepbrother and a stepsister from my stepdad i have a half sister from my stepdad I also have another set half sister from another marriage my mom was in. And then on my dad's side, I'm my father's only biological child, but he has four stepchildren as well. So what is that, eight? I have eight siblings. Yeah, I have eight, which is a lot. Um, I'm the oldest, which also sucks because I feel like I have to set an example, even though I don't know if I should be the one setting the example. <laughs> my sister Jerrica asks, who's your favorite sibling? Honestly, probably you, Jerrica. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Let's be honest, the rest of them don't like me. When are you coming back to Montana to visit? I don't know. So, like, I live full-time in Dallas. Um, I'm from Montana. All my family's there. Like, a lot of my followers know that. But I, too, I do try to go home as much as I can. But, like, flights aren't cheap. Um, I don't make enough to just be, like, willy-nilly flying across the country. But I think...
think I want to try to fly home again maybe in January depending on my financial situation after the holidays if I don't treat myself too much. Would you ever set up a makeup master class? Master what? Like I don't know what about me says master class to you but thank you for thinking that I should be a person to do that when I feel like I'm one of the least qualified people on the internet to do that. I would like to one day. My skills are over there. How long did it take to build your following? Let's see, I remember when I hit 10,000, I was driving to my friend Rachel's house for the Super Bowl. Oh God, what year was that? Like February of 2017, I wanna say, that I hit 10,000. So it's now November of 2019, I'm at 71,000. It's taken a while. But like I said, I also fell off the wagon for a while and kind of stopped creating and didn't really care because I think Nick's their like official Instagram shared my like corpse bride look and it like blew up on their page and so I got a ton of followers from that but once I started posting a little bit more consistently it started to like really take off and like this last year like this last Halloween season especially like me just posting more and like being a little more creative it like helped a lot what has been your favorite makeup look to date I really like the stitched up one I did this Halloween season for my 31 days I also really 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 loved my haunted house where I had like the orange and then the black silhouette I have like the haunted house like a coloring book it might be my like all-time favorite just because I really love like how it all came together like the eye look the lip color how do I get my lips so big mainly filler <laughs> That's another thing is like people always like give me shit about getting like lip injections because it's not like I don't know if it's like people from back home who don't like it because like it's not a huge thing in Montana. I mean plastic surgery itself isn't huge in Montana really but people always have something to say about them like who cares it's my face if I want to mess it up I'm gonna mess it up like shouldn't affect your daily life. What Morgan's doing with her lip. What's my dream job? To own a farm and have like a hundred dogs, but all those dogs be adoptable. And then I'm just fostering like a hundred dogs. Whatever happened to your stalker who came into your work? Like I said, I work two jobs. So I'm full time in the salon. So the other day or two of the week, um, I'm at the mall. And there's this guy that would come into the store, haven't seen Homeboy in a while. He's been doing it for months. He'll come in, won't say anything will just like won't buy anything kind of like watch me and then like follow me around the store and then just sit there and like creepily compliment me over and over and over again but he'll only walk into our store if he sees me like working um if not he'll like hang out outside the store and like pretend to be on his phone or like sit at the little cafe across from us and then like i'm the only blonde on our sales team so if he sees my hair he'll like beeline it into the store straight to me like other workers will be like hi how are you ignores them he just like goes straight to me and the last time he did it i posted the video on my instagram story um but i saw him walking in the store i didn't want him to see me so i like ducked down behind the counter that way he wouldn't like come in but like he had already seen me and i think he saw me do that and he hasn't been in since and I've like alerted security at the mall just because he freaks me out. I mean he's not bad looking he's just like an older white man with like tattoos but like the way he like his approach to like being friendly to me is like really unsettling and I just don't like it. But this has been going on for like six months that he just does this and he'll come into like he used to come into the store every day like every day and then like for a while there I was full time and then once I got the salon job I went down to like part time but he didn't know that so he would still come into the mall every day to see if I was working and like all my coworkers would be like oh like guess who came in today or yesterday and I'd be like oh like him and they're like yeah my thing is I don't want to be like walking out to my car one night and him be like out there and then like follow me home or like something like that because it, like it takes no time to like grab somebody off the street or like throw someone in the back seat of your car or like I live alone so him to like follow me home would just be like I don't know like terrifying I have the means to defend myself in my home if it needs to come to that but like I don't want it to come to that and I don't need someone like stalking my life and coming into my work every day and being creepy he hasn't been in a while so hopefully he's just given up and like moved on to the next victim which is horrible to say but like it's probably the case because i mean like who does that pancakes or waffles 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 100 percent. they got those little pockets for butter and syrup waffles hell yeah waffles what's your favorite thing to eat besides corn okay first off don't call me out um i love corn god i love corn i don't know everything like I'm at a point in my life where I no longer care about like I mean I care about what I eat but like I just if I want something I eat it like my like I used to like be so obsessed with how I looked and like how my body was and what how much I weighed and like what size I was 
would like starve myself just to fit into clothes and like now I'm like to the age and I've gotten to the point where like I don't care like if I want to eat chicken nuggets at three in the morning I'm gonna eat chicken nuggets at three in the morning like who's to tell me no who's to stop me nobody I want to do it so I'm gonna do it like there's no point in like making yourself miserable and like being unhappy like if you want to eat something eat it like there's just like no point I don't know, I eat everything, but I do love me some chicken nugget. Oh god, I love corn. And then shout out to my boyfriend who literally makes the best grilled corn on the cob that I've had in my life. And like he literally knows how to like make my day if I'm like having a shitty day. Or like to surprise me, he'll just like be like, oh, I made dinner and then I get I get home and there's just like the meal and then like corn on the cob. So I like lose my shit. Is there anything to do to prevent your foundation from creasing into your smile lines? I don't know, don't smile. I don't know, I would just set it or use like a, not a super heavy primer because I feel like the heavier the primer I use, the more my makeup creases. So I've been like really loving like really lightweight primers. Favorite eyeshadow palette is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe one, like the original one. But like I bought this when she first launched it, like mine's like so beat up and like so pan and like so nasty just because I use it so much. Best advice for someone going into hair school. Pay attention, learn as much as you can. Uh, I kind of fucked around at some points and kind of missed out on stuff I probably should have paid attention to, but like my experience is what was much different than most people's just because the school I went to was could have been ran better. But yeah, I mean, I love my job now. I love the industry that I'm in. Um, it's so worth it. But when you're in school, like definitely look into the schools you're going into, but I would 100% do it. If you're looking into cosmetology school, like do it because like there's so much rewarding experiences you get out of it. Well, this about wraps up this look. Not really sure what I was going for. Kind of 70s, kind of drag queen, whatever. I kind of like it. Um, thank you all for listening to me ramble along for however long this video is about all the things that make me a train wreck. Um, if you want to see any more of my makeup, go check out my Instagram. I will link it below. Go give me some love. Go give me a follow. Go support me, please. I would appreciate it so much. Um, but thank you for watching. Hopefully, I'll have another video up soon. I'm not really sure. Been kind of on a roll with creating videos, so we shall see. But thank you all. I will see you next time.